Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am in Sapporo City, Hokkaido Prefecture. I'm setting in front of the iconic Nika billboard, which is a historical whiskey that was founded right here in Hokkaido Prefecture. Now it's winter, so it's quite chilly here in Hokkaido, which is the northernmost part of Japan. But the reason why I'm here today is to explore all of the wonderful local cuisines that can be found right here in Sapporo City. So without further ado, let's go explore Sapporo! Let's go! All right, so our first local food of the day is Mongolian barbecue, which is a really, really popular dish here in Hokkaido, especially in Sapporo City. And here, it's actually known as Genghis Khan. This is the local word for it, and it comes from the name Genghis Khan, which is the famous Mongolian emperor. So a very interesting little history um, with the name. This is a great local food to try, and I've never tried it before. So let's go inside and see what Genghis Khan or Genghis Khan is all about. Let's go. Hi, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Masu, ano chotto jiko shoukai o onegaishite mo ii desu ka? Watashi wa koko no midai me no okami desu. Hai. Jo Sumiko to mousimasu. Naze kono restaurant ga saisho ni open shita ka wa wakarimasu ka? Ichiban saisho wa haha ga えー、と生活に苦しいので何か商売ないかなって言った時に羊を牧場を経営してた人たちとか、うん、そういう人たちが毛を取るのに羊を買っていたんですね、うん、それで毛を取った後の羊を家庭で食べてたんですよあのタレも自分たち好みのタレを作ってそれが始まりでしてうちの母はそれをあお店でできないかっていうことを考えたそ,うなんですねうん、そして今皆さんに愛されてるこのタレもうちの母が、うん、考えて作って、うん、それが始まりです、えっと、じゃあもう早速なんですけどどれが一番おすすめですかそうですね女性でしたらこのヒレが一番ですね。So she said that the most common one traditionally is this one.、Hi. So, this is a, a, a little compilation, you might say, of all the different kinds of cuts of meat. This is very standard. This one is the more premium quality. Now that I see it, this is super, super fancy looking. It's got really thick cuts of fat, but apparently, since it's mutton, it's much leaner and healthier than beef. And this is the Filet, the, meat, the mutton filet, which I've never seen before. It's much smaller than I expected, but apparently, this is very popular, especially with the ladies. So, this is our spread for today. They're already grilled up, they grill really fast, so I'm gonna take the filet. It looks so So juicy! I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting sheep meat to be this juicy. Okay, here we go. This is my first ever sheep or mutton meat. Here we go. Itadakimasu! Hi! Mmm! Kekko y a w a r a k a i desu ne! That was a little bit unexpected.、Um, to be honest, it tastes a little bit closer to beef. And it's super juicy, very tender, and It only gets that soft because it's the filet meat, and it's very rare to get that. That is fantastic. Super good. I recommend it. So, this is the shoulder part, and it's a really premium cut of meat. This is probably the most expensive one on the menu. So, I just had to try it because why not? You gotta, you gotta try the top one. So, here we go. Let's dip it in the sauce and give it a taste. Itadakimasu. Mmm, that's really good too. It's like. Steak. I think the filet is a very special case. It's super, super melt in your mouth soft. This one is chewier. It definitely gives that steak like vibe. It's smoky, it's flavorful. I think cooking it on the,、uh, the charcoal is, is the way to go. It's so, so good. Now it's time to try the homemade mama's kimchi. This has got to be good. 
ただきます。Oh, the crunch is so satisfying, and it's got a really, really good spicy kick to it. It's not too intense, but it's not too mild either. Well, this has all been so delicious. 今日は本当にありがとうございました。あ、もうぜひまた来ます。あの外国人の方もいっぱい来てもいいんですか？もちろんです。おお。So all everybody from all over the world is super welcome here. So if you guys ever want to try Jingisukan, this is the place to come, a hundred percent. ありがとうございます。Alrighty, my next stop of the day is Kayote, a popular seafood restaurant here in Sapporo City. So I'm here today to try probably what is the king of all of the delicious seafood in Hokkaido, their delicious Hokkaido crab. So this is kind of their specialty here. So let's go inside and try some delicious fresh, fresh crab. Let's go. They've just sat down. They have a lot of different menu options. I hear that their、um, squid is particularly famous here. But today I'm here for some crab, and I'm super, super excited. では、まず、はい、あの簡単に自己紹介をお願いします。はい、えっ、ー、と私西川と申しまして、この函館海洋店の店舗の統括といいますか、管理マネージャー業務のようとしております。So, I often hear that Hokkaido is very famous for its crab, but I'm really wondering why is Hokkaido crab so popular? Hokkaido no umi de toren ka ni wa, so ni hon no naka de mo, so boku size ga oki kute, oishi ti yore te ru ka ni nan desya. Oki mo da to ichi kilo ko e de yo na mo no mo arimasu no de, hon to ni miru to ko na ni oki. That's amazing! A kilogram of crab,、uh, like a kilogram size. I've never seen that before, but apparently those can be found here in Hokkaido. So, without further ado, I'd love to try some Hokkaido crab dishes. Wow, look at this, you guys! An amazing seafood spread.、Um, first of all, we have this incredible. Hairy crab.、Uh, I don't know what is the popular term for it, but in, in Japanese it's called kegani, which literally translates to hairy crab. And if you look at it, it is incredibly hairy. See, I really am not good at this. I hope that this looks appetizing to you because I can't do it properly. Ooh, that looks so good. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Hokkaido crab. Right off the bat, very, very flavorful. And there's no sauces,、um, any special seasoning. I think this is more or less just its natural flavor.、Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of the kani miso, even though I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that excited about it. But let's do it, you guys. I gotta try the kani miso. Itadakimasu. That's not bad. That's actually really good. There's no bitter aftertaste. It actually tastes really, really creamy. I actually quite like it. <laughs> I'm very surprised, pleasantly surprised. Next, I'm gonna try the Kani Kurimu Koroke, which means crab cream croquette. Let's give it a try. Croquettes, I love them. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, I like that.、Uh, creamy, like kind of crab cake style croquette. All right, so our final dish of this shop for today is our unigiri, which is a little play on the words onigiri <laughs> and uni, which is sea urchin. So it's a sea urchin rice ball, which honestly I have never ever seen in my life. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 What was that? Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. It's definitely like a full mouthful. And what's really decadent about it is the fact that you get so much uni in one bite. But we actually have one more shop to hit up after this with a famous local Sapporo cuisine. So I'm gonna finish up my food and then let's head over there. All right, I think we're getting close to our last stop of the day. Yes, here we are. This is Shirakaba Sanso, a ramen shop that serves 
Japan's most famous type of ramen, miso ramen. So let's go inside and give it a try. It looks absolutely delicious. Here we go. Konnawa. 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 <laughs> I've never had that before at a, at a ramen restaurant. Tamago tabe hodai tiu koto de okiri tan desu kedo, ima demo so nan desu ka? Mawa ne, mai korona ni natte kara, kogo ni takusan oi cha dame da yo te yuari tan de, kochi ni oite junbi shite kedo desu. Ah, so. Mosi mo mitsu sarita katta ga, yu te kure leba, ayumasu yo. Wow, urishi! Wow, that's amazing. So normally he has a giant bowl of eggs. On this counter, and normally you can eat as many boiled eggs as you want to. I've never seen a shop that does this before. I'm wondering, so how long have you been running this shop for? This place has been for 13 years. 13 years? Oh! The first place was for 24 years. So I know that miso ramen is very, very famous in Hokkaido, but especially Sapporo City. But I've never known why it's so famous. Do you know the reason? いろんな話があるみたいなんですけど、力仕事をしてた人がえ日本では豚汁っていう味噌スープ野菜がたくさん入った豚汁っていうものを飲まれていたんですけど、その中にちょっとメイン入れてくれよとお腹いっぱいに
and look forward to the next video. Alright, everybody, so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye!